What's going on, Q Crew? Y'all already know I'm your host, Suave Q, aka the Q Pill. You guys are tuned in for a dosage of Q Pill. And then this dose right here, Andrew Tate versus Pierre's Morgan on his misogynistic remarks regarding 19 year old women being more attractive than 25 year old women. But before we react to it, make sure you guys hit that like, share, subscribe button, turn on your notifications, share this content with your family, your friends, your colleagues, your peers. Let them get a dose of the Q Pill as well. Also below, links to my other socials are in the description box as well as to my book on Amazon, The Q Pill, A Remedy for a Cold World an overdose of reality which is now available also if you guys like the content feel free to send a donation those links are also in the description box as well let's get a dose of this shit now y'all know i can't stand the fucking word misogyny why? Because it's a politically correct term used to describe biological and psychological truths about women that people dislike. That's all it is. And anytime you hear an individual use the word misogyny, they'll also modify the definition, which is not really the actual definition of what it means. And they'll use it to fit whatever criteria you're describing so that you still sound misogynistic, as we're about to see in this exchange between Piers Morgan and Andrew Tate on his show. Let's take a look at the clip. You said this, in general, this is also one of the reasons men find youth attractive. You want to block the internet? I'll block the internet right effing now. The reason 18 and 19 year olds are more attractive than 25 year olds is because they've been through less dick. People say, oh, you can't say that, but yes, I can. A 19 year old is more attractive than a 26 year old woman, and I'll tell you why. Because that 26 year old has talked to more guys, been to the club more times, been effed and dumped more times, more arguments, more mess, more for me to clean up. That is misogyny. Why? Because you are encouraging a mindset about 25-year-old women that makes them sound out to be infinitely less desirable than 18, 19-year-olds and having effectively been having too much sex to be taken in a more respectful way. That would, well, firstly, even if that was the case, that wouldn't be misogyny. Well, what did you mean by what you said? That's not misogyny because it's not anti-women. I'm, I'm saying that an 18 or a 19-year-old woman would be more desirable. It's pretty anti-25-year-old woman. Anti-25-year-old women, we can argue, but not misogyny. Well, that's misogyny. So that's, that's, no, 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 it's not. Well, being anti any woman at all is misogyny. Not when, I'm, not when I'm saying that women are beautiful and attractive at a certain age and saying that age You're is saying 18, 19-year-olds are more attractive than 25 Well, then ageist, perhaps, but misogynistic, absolutely is that not. Is that But you just accepted it was misogyny. No, I didn't. You said it was misogyny. I'm telling you, no, it's not. So you don't think if you're saying slightly hateful things about it. That's not slightly hateful. Well, it is. Man. These leftists are fucking retarded. I don't care what y'all say. It, it, this, is, this, is, this is insane. First of all, kudos to Andrew Tate for handling it in the mature way that he did. I understand he wants to uphold a certain level of intellectual integrity on Piers Morgan's show, but I would have told Piers Morgan, I don't give a fuck what you think. If you think it's misogyny, you want to define reality as that, then fine. So be it, because we're just delivering messages that nature wrote. Now, let's, let's, let's look at the first thing. Kudos to Andrew Tate again for asking him, why is it misogyny? Allowing him to explain what he defines as misogyny so that we can establish if it actually fits the criteria for what it means to be misogynistic, which makes no sense because he's saying it's anti-woman when he's sitting here uplifting a group of women. He's saying that 19-year-old women are still more desirable. Then, Piers Morgan's tried to manipulate the conversation saying, you're saying that they're infinitely less desirable. No, he didn't say that they're infinitely less desirable. He actually didn't state how much more desirable or how much less desirable they actually are. He just said that they're less desirable and his reasons, his variables were actually very valid. He said because they've been through less dick than the 25 year olds, which in reality makes sense because if women are 25 years old, They've likely dated more guys. They've likely broken up with more guys. They've likely endured more emotional damage and have more emotional baggage than a 19-year-old woman who probably hasn't been exposed to the level of men or the degree or amount of men that a 25-year-old would because that 25-year-old is old enough to get in the clubs, old enough to drink, old enough to do all of these things, rent cars, shit that the 19-year-old isn't old enough to do and therefore can't expose herself to the level of, of, of men or the amount of men that the 25-year-old has exposed herself to. And that's perfectly valid. It's, it's, it's perfectly valid to say it's misogynistic because a man has a preference for youth and purity and innocence 
is is absolutely asinine because the reality is it's a biological fact. Anybody who knows evolutionary psychology knows that men cross-culturally, ubiquitously prefer younger women. We're naturally attracted to younger women because, for one, the physical cues of fertility and fecundity, which is their waist-to-hip ratio, the way their breasts sit, you know, the amount of, of, of body fat that they have, which is less than that of, of, of a 25-year-old woman. As women age, they get older, and not to mention, when a woman is 19, she's still entering her sexual prime, whereas a woman who is 25 is on the decline out of her sexual prime. And this will correspond to their physical beauty. Now, of course, Andrew Tate's explanation was experience-based, but still very valid, very reasonable, very plausible. It's not like he said anything that's wrong or anything that most men would not agree on. And he's determined that he's going to make the statement misogynistic. And then Andrew Tate says, if anything, we could, you could have a valid case for it might be ageist, perhaps. And then he goes on to say, well, ageist is still misogynistic. No, it's not, because if it's ageist, then that means that applies to men as well, which means it wouldn't only be women, which means it wouldn't only be misogynistic. And he didn't even say that he was actually ageist. He said, if anything, ageist, perhaps you could have you could make a case for if you if we're talking about ages, then I'm saying that one age is more desirable than the next age. But it's perfectly valid. And these are the conversations you will find yourself in these irrational ass, emotion based, subjective, moralistic conversations with leftists who believe that you aren't supposed to say anything about women. That's true. If they don't like how it sounds, fuck the fact that it's reality. If they don't like how it sounds, they don't like how it sounds. They're going to call it misogyny. That's where we're at. This is the level of irrationality that we constantly demonstrate day in, day out, because we don't want to accept truths that make women seem oppressed, especially if you're a man, all the patriarchy, toxic masculinity. These concepts that have stood since the beginning of time, since we could observe human nature that will remain after we're long gone are now stigmatized because we believe it's unacceptable to state the obvious. You guys do realize these are biological and psychological facts about women. They're, they're actually empiric, there's actually empirical data to support this. There's research to support this. This is in the literature that younger women are more desirable than older women. That a 21-year-old will be more desirable than a 27-year-old. A 19-year-old will be more desirable than a 25-year-old. Men like innocence. Men like purity. Men like virgins. Men like women with low body counts. We have a preference for them. We've evolved a preference for them because of a concept known as paternity uncertainty. Dealing with a woman who's endured more men means you absolutely have more mess to clean up. You have more insecurities to deal with. You have more bitterness to deal with. You have more emotional trauma to deal with. Whereas that 19-year-old, she's just getting out and experiencing men, experiencing the world. She can still fall in love. She's not going to talk to you about everything that her ex did. She's not going to overthink everything you do because she experienced a guy who did everything that you did and it may be harmless. Misogyny? We're just delivering the message that nature wrote. And as men, especially if you're a toxic man, you get you get shame for that. This is insane. This I, I, I wish I was on the show. I really wish I was on the show. Y'all would have loved to see me on the show because if I would, I would have turned that motherfucker out. I would have told Pierre's Morgan, fuck however you feel. If you want to define it as misogyny, then guess what? I'm misogynistic. But when I walk out of here and there's 25-year-old women waiting for me or 19-year-old women waiting for me, I'm going to get the 19-year-olds. And you can go cry in the car. I don't give a fuck. Because because we're not going to deal with people shaming men for having preferences. Men aren't allowed to have preferences. Men aren't allowed to have standards. We have to accept everything about women, no matter how detrimental it may become, how 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 uh, how much it may compromise our relationship. We're just supposed to accept women's flaws, no matter the degree, the magnitude of in which they are flawed. No, I want to optimize my relationship. I want to optimize my relationship satisfaction, my relationship longevity, and my attraction to a woman. And if a woman, if woman A doesn't fit that criteria and woman B does, it can't be misogyny. 
because they're both still women. And I didn't say I don't necessarily like this one because Andrew Tate didn't state that he doesn't find any 25-year-old women desirable at all. He simply said the 19-year-old women are more desirable than the 25-year-old women because they have less mileage physically and emotionally. And that's perfectly valid. That's an observable reality any man can see. You take a cohort of 25-year-old women, you take a cohort a cohort of 19-year-old women, and you'll see that on average, the 19-year-old woman probably aligns with what Andrew Tate is saying versus the 25-year-old woman. She's had less boyfriends, less dick, less emotional trauma. I, I love I love how they how they get on these shows trying to embarrass these people. And and Andrew Tate is way nicer to me because I would have not responded in that manner. I would have called him an idiot, I would have called him retarded, and I would have called him a soft ass beta. That's what I would have called him. To his face on the show. They would have had to cancel the show off air. Because that's what it is. These white knights, these simps, these panderers. Oh, uplifting and empower women. You're not supposed to say that about women. You're supposed to respect women. I'm going to tell women the fucking truth. I'm going to state the truth. That's what I value. I value truth. So if it's the truth, I'm going to say it. I don't care how uncomfortable it makes you because nature said so. Nature made it this way. We evolved this way. This isn't taught to us by society. You could take a 25-year-old woman and a 19-year-old woman and put both of them in front of a man who has never seen a woman and ask him, which does he find more attractive? A heterosexual man, ask him, who do you find more attractive? And don't tell him the age. I guarantee that man more often than not will pick that 19-year-old woman over that 25-year-old woman because it's called instinct. It's innate. It's subconscious. The cues of youth and fertility are more apparent in the 19 year old than they are in the 25 year old. That's why men have a preference for youth. They have a preference for fertility. They have a preference for neotenous features. They have a a preference for fecundity. Ubiquitous, you find this cross-cultural. In in 90% of cultures, you can find men desire the cues of fertility, youth, fecundity, and and neotony more than older women who tend to lack those things or those things tend to dissipate as they age. Sick of these people. We have got to st- we have got we have got to stand up. We have got to stand up and check these people on the nonsensical bullshit that they will speak and then try to act as if they're correct and virtue signal as if that makes them better people because you wouldn't dare say a reality that everyone else can see. It means you lack testicular fortitude as a man. If you can't acknowledge reality, you lack testicular fortitude. Fortitude. I can't trust you with my life. If you can't, if you don't have the balls to speak up and admit something that's true, how can I trust you to defend my country, defend my home, defend your honor, defend your dignity? You're a pushover. That's why masculine men still get the most pussy. That's why toxic masculinity is still attractive to women. These men like Piers Morgan will say all this bullshit thinking, oh, they're doing something good. This is going to make them attractive to women. No, it just makes them say, oh, thank you for saying that. You're so sweet. Why they turn around and go fuck the man who's keeping it real with them. It's not misogynistic. If it is, that means nature is misogynistic. And if nature is misogynistic, then we can't do shit about it. Take that up with God. Take that up with the higher power that you believe in. Take that up with nature. Go outside, kick a tree. Get upset at the tree. Because we see this evident in mammalian species. Wherever there's the optimal mate and those optimal cues corresponds to that mate, that's where the male of that species is going to go. That's where the female of that species is going to go. 
to whoever has the cues that will maximize their chances of raising their offspring and optimize their chances at survival. So if misogyny, if it's misogyny and sexist, so be it. We don't give a fuck. I appreciate you guys tuning in. That's all I have to say about that. I'll catch you guys on the next dosage. I'm Suave Q, a.k.a. the Q-Pill. I'll see you guys on the next episode of Q-Pill. Over and out.